What's going on, guys? It's Speeding Blue here, bringing back another toy review. And it's been the long-awaited toy review, the Super Mario Brothers movie 5-inch Mario figures. I have all four that have come out for Wave 1. And without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Mario himself. Uh, his accessory is a plunger. Pretty cool accessory, if you ask me. Um, the detailing is really cool. Like, this looks like it was ripped straight from the movie. Um, he's got a bit of foot swivel. Um, moves at the knees. And swivels at the waist. And, and the waist again. Arm articulation, full 360. Head articulation, full 360. And the cool part about these figures, at least for the Mario, Luigi, and Peach figures, you see their eyes? Well, what happens is, is when you move the figure, the eyes follow. It's a little creepy, but cool too. You got the stitching around the M, and the stitching on the hat, the overalls, I mean, you couldn't go wrong with overalls. I mean, just look at this figure, though. I think Jack Pacific nailed it. I don't think they could have done any better. And so, this is the Mario figure. Let's take a look at his brother. Here we have Luigi, pretty much about the same articulation for Luigi. Uh, yet, in case you were wondering, he is taller than Mario, which is good attention to detail. His accessory is a flashlight. Uh, I feel like this is also supposed to be a nod, not only to that they're plumbers and they have a plumbing flashlight, but also a nod to the Luigi's Mansion series. I think it's a nod to the Luigi's Mansion series, because let's be honest, how many references were there in the trailers to the movie, and even the movie itself? Um, Luigi's head does the same thing as I had previously mentioned with the eyes. Uh, the stitching looks like, I mean, there's not actual stitching, it's plastic, plastic figure. But the attention to detail that, as if there was stitching, like, looks awesome. And that's it for Luigi. Up next we have Toad, which, yes, is smaller than the other figures. Um, he does not have waist articulation, but he does move his legs forward, cannot move them backwards because of his backpack. The head, full 360 rotation, and it can pop off if you're, if you're curious, but I don't recommend doing it. Um, the arms, pretty much the same articulation as Mario and Luigi's, except for his, are a bit more stiffer to move at the shoulders. And uh, they packed a lot of detail into his backpack. Now, if you've seen the movie, or even just even the trailers, you know Toad carries around a frying pan. And I didn't know this until, like, a week after owning the figure, that the frying pan could fit in his backpack. But it does slip into his hand and you can recreate cool scenes from the movie with Toad and his frying pan. And I just I just love the peddler's pack. Like honestly, just look at that. The lantern and the pickaxe, I believe is supposed to be a nod to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Correct me if I'm wrong. It could just be you know, a cool little detail. That is it for the Toad figure. Unfortunately, he does not want to stand up by himself. So the best option when you have him standing is to put his frying pan back in his backpack and have him standing like that. So that way he will stand straight up. And without further ado, let's get into the last figure, Princess Peach. Here is the Princess Peach figure. She comes with her parasol. Very cool accessory. Um, she too has waist articulation. Not very much, but... And she can move forward, 
and back, but not very much articulation for her. She does move at the at the shoulders and at the elbows. Her wrists do move back and forth. Um, just like the Mario and Luigi figures, as I have previously mentioned, her eyes also follow you. And the detail on this figure, I mean, seriously. Like, look at the lines in the hair, the crown. Again, Jack Specific, I don't think you could have done any better with these figures. There you have it, my my friends. There is my review for the Super Mario Brothers movie, 5-inch figures. Um, I will be putting out another video soon revealing something that was also kind of in the little background for the trailer or the teaser rather for this and that is maybe it just has to do with the mario brothers